the Internet of Things or the IoT is the technology behind product service systems. Like an iceberg, the physical things are the tip visible above water, while most of the technology and complexity is hidden, immersed underwater. In this series of seven small videos, we will shed light on this digital technology, mapping its literacy through a layered framework so-called stack. We will explore what is the Internet of Things, extracting key roles of designers in the development of product service systems. To leverage a technology in design, it is important to understand what it is. The Internet of Things would have been coined by Kevin Ashton in 1999. At least, that is what he describes in this RFID journal article of 2009. He recalls the 90s when internet diagrams were including servers and routers while missing the most important of the routers, us, people. The internet is about disseminating information, but people have limited time, attention and accuracy. We are simply not good at capturing data about things in the real world. Thus, the promise of the Internet of Things is about making us a bit superhuman, helping us capturing data from the real world onto the Internet. To do so, there are three key elements. First, physical things are identified on the Internet via various technologies such as RFID tags that we can find in clothing, for instance, or QR codes. Second, a thing refers to any physical object attached to a unique device that can connect as well as send and receive data through the Internet. Finally, the IoT extends the Internet, a global end-to-end -end communication infrastructure. The term stack is common when referring to a framework describing technologies with multiple layers. There are several ways to map the IoT technology stack with various degrees of granularity and scope. We will look at the stack from Daniel Elizalt, which provides an effective perspective on the technology and the value proposition. It starts with the device hardware, which is the tip of the iceberg, concrete and tangible. From the left, we will go all the way to the right towards intangible, remote and abstract concepts. Intangible, as we move to a digital world without physical manifestation of what is happening. Remote, as many of the processes happen far from the physical product, distributed around the world. Abstract, as boundaries between elements becomes blurry. Let's take the Nest Learning Thermostat as a concrete example of product service system to navigate throughout this IoT technology stack. While a traditional thermostat is passive, without knowledge about users and acting only when the user acts, the Nest Learning Thermostat watches users' behavior, learns from it to adapt its data model, and operates autonomously to control the temperature in the house. The proposition is about taking care of home climate control on behalf of the users while best balancing comfort and energy consumption. If you do not know about this product, we invite you to type in Nest Learning Thermostat in your favorite search engine. Then come back with us to start the IoT technology journey from the device hardware layer.